cloud of volcanic ash rising from Iceland is causing thousands of flights across the globe to be canceled. Including a trip to Europe for a group of students at Quaybog Regional High School in Warren. As CBS 3 Springfield's Liz Tuff tells us, many of them are out of thousands of dollars. Liz? That's right, Jennifer. The group was supposed to leave yesterday for a nine-day tour around Paris, London, and Barcelona, but they never thought something like this would happen. So many of them never bought insurance on their plane tickets. Complete disappointment and shock that this trip that we've waited so long to go for has been canceled. Corey Brennan, a senior at Claybog Regional High School in Warren, is one of 25 students who was supposed to be spending April vacation in Europe. The students have been saving up money and planning their trips since last year. I know it's all summer to pay for it. Yesterday, the group never even made it to the airport when they got the news. I had heard that London was closed, but I didn't know that our flight was canceled. We didn't. We're supposed to fly into Paris. And they're not alone. Half a dozen European countries have had to close their airspace because of the volcanic ash leaving thousands of planes parked in the departure boards at airports looking like this. When students got the news, they thought it was a joke. Especially in Iceland where everybody thinks that there's no volcanoes and whatnot, but it's just it's shock, really. Think of all the things that could have happened, a volcano in Iceland. Yeah. I was really disappointed. Disappointed not only because they won't be heading to London, Paris, and Barcelona, but even more upset, some are out of thousands of dollars. Approximately $2,400. Students like Corey didn't think they needed to spend an extra few hundred dollars for insurance on their plane ticket. Now they're hoping to get the money back or get their trip rescheduled for free. Ben said that possibly May is another trip or over the summer, probably towards the end of June or in the middle of June. He just hopes that you're planning and borrowing money from his family. It wasn't all for nothing. This is the dream of a lifetime, a trip of a lifetime, and she helped me through all of this. And she paid for half of my trip, and now I can't even go. Now, the group was hoping to salvage part of their trip this weekend, but they found out just hours ago their trip is 100% canceled. The school is now working with a tour guide company and a travel agent to try and get the students' money back. Live in the newsroom, Liz Tuff, CBS 3 Springfield.